Here comes the field for tonight's first race as they parade behind Kathy McDonald. Number one is F.D. Darkside, driven by David Myers. The owner is Burke Lyons, Shawnee, and William Townsend. Two, Pans Vestite, owned by Fred Merriman with Ron Steck. Three is Miscue, owned by Richard and Joyce McClellan. Rainsman is Dave Miller. Four is Valor, owned by Tom Brinkerhoff, Leonard Bruckner, and Jim Sproul with Tom Brinkerhoff. Number five is 60-something, owned by Ray Curtis, Charles Mitchell, and Daryl Kirby. Dan Ader will be in the bike. Six is Overs Butler, owned by Willard Miller and Alan Besco with Willard Miller driving. Seven is Emma Heather, owned by Robert Lee and Mary K. Harriet with Jim Daly. Number eight is Come a Buzz, and owned by Daryl Lewis and Mark Winters. Daryl Lewis will drive. Number nine is Bone Road, owned by Bill Ferris with Jeff Smith. Ten, Appealing Iliad, owned by Charles Geiler and Roger Wallace. Brett Merkel will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's first race, six minutes till post. Field for tonight's first race at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Overs Butler between horses takes the lead. 60-something middle of the racetrack. There's the favorite Pans Vestite. Come a buzz and trots up on the far outside. Quickly from the second tier, appealing Iliad is in the fifth. Followed by Miss Q on the outside. Sixth, FD Darkside is off stride in seventh. Followed by Emma Heather between horses. Valor and up on the far outside, Bone Road. They're now once again all on gate. They're into the quarter mile pole and Overs Butler Quickly draws off with a two-length lead. They open up here 29 and 3. First race, Daily Double Trotters come past the stands. Overs Butler for Willard Miller is going to try to whack this one out on the front end. It's Overs Butler who leads the way. 60-something is second. Past the stands, come a buzzin' is third. The favorite comes to the outside, Pans Vestite fourth. Next in line is the 10, Appealing Iliad. Followed by Miss Q as they trot to the half-mile pole. After Miss Q as they reach the half mile station, Emma Heather. Next is FD Darkside. After that, Bone Road. And the far back trailer is Valor. And they're at the half mile pole in 101. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Overs Butler gets away from him just a bit on the front end. Overs Butler by a widening two and a half. 60 something is second. First to flush. Coming with a rush here is Pans Vestite is up on the outside. Three horses are across the track, vying for command. Trotting a storm on the far outside, Pans Vestite has now made a speed break and has jumped off stride. Racing by three quarters in 131, this could be bombs away in the opener. Still commanding the field, Overs Butler. Between horses, 60-something. Up on the far outside, come a buzzing off stride, miscue. Get the IRS slips out in this one. Trotting through the stretch, it's Overs Butler. Here comes Come a Buzzin' up on the far outside. Far outside, Come a Buzzin', Overs Butler, 60-something. Deep stretch, Come a Buzzin' to the wire. Here's the winner of tonight's first race. Number eight, Come a Buzzin'. Come a Buzzin' is a three-year-old bay gelding by Overcomer out of Buzzin' Kidding. Owned by Mark Winters along with driver trainer Daryl Lewis of Wilmington and Sabina, Ohio. Covering them out here in 203 to establish a lifetime best. Number eight, Come a Buzzin', the winner of tonight's first race. The Perfectum on the combination of eight and six returning 489.80, the exact of 489.80. The trifecta 3501.60, 3501.60.
Next post is 7.54, no changes in the second. 